Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this week we are going to finish acetoning it up um, and start the fairing and see how far we get. So let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so big week this week. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna acetone it again, make sure every bit of dirt's gone. I might even give it a, another quick hoover inside here. That's where you can see little bits of dirt coming. Um, yeah, so acetone it up, and we can start fairing the transom, which would be great. That's a big job then. Um, I don't think it need a lot uh, thickness because obviously if you see. Last week's episode, I've sanded it all uh, pretty close to flush, apart from this bit here where it just drops in a little bit, maybe a couple mil. So that's what I will be filling in. And then we'll do the sides. Uh, so I probably will start from about here, work my way across, get the big section done. And then on these sides, I can work from there and work my way out. So it all blends in and I can fair it in up there. Um, I also need to get another layer on that, which should finish it off, and make sure I do the couple pinholes. But like I said uh, last week, um, I will be double checking the boat, going over everything to make sure it is 100% ready for painting. Uh, I've got to this far now, I don't want to rush anything and miss something. And but if you, if you see last week's episode, you see at the end of the clip, it's the first time I've done it, actually put a little time lapse on the end. Um, I pulled the boat out, gave it all a good sweep and a, a brush, uh, brushed in here as much as I could. Um, but obviously it's going to need all doing again, all cleaning properly, washing down, um, because I know if I when I sand this, fairing compound it's gonna be a lot of dust so I'll make sure I pull the boat out and probably get a blower to get all of this out um, so yeah I'm gonna acetone it up and then we can start fairing and go from there okay Okay, that's all that's turned up. Uh, I think set up, I did buy a, a long time ago actually when I first started the transom to do the fair and I bought one of these, uh, I don't know if it's called like a quick screed or something. It's, it's straight, um, strong, and it will, it's long enough to um, do the fairing. So like I said, I'm going to start that side and just go from top to bottom, uh, putting the stuff there, bring it across. Um, if it runs out here, I'll just keep it going straight until it obviously flares out a little bit. Um, make another batch, carry on, just keep going. Like I said before, I if I can get this from that end to that end done, I can work on the edges as it's such a small area, I can blend them in easy enough. But if I mess up on that, it'd take a little while to sand that back down. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show that tool, which should help me out. I think set up. Uh, I think we are good to go. <laughs> uh, like I've mentioned, the fairing compound, I don't know if you've seen my previous videos, 
this stuff goes off in five minutes. So the first batch I do 400 grams and I think I do six mil of hardener. Um, you can do eight, two percent, but that goes off way too quick. Um, and five minutes is quick enough as it is with six percent. Um, but yeah, like I said, 400 grams, six mil, uh, chuck it on there, make another batch, chuck it on there, and that's what I think I'm gonna do. Okay, let's go. Okay, and that's the first lot, uh, 400 grams. Went a lot further than what I thought. I mean, that's where I was gonna stop anyway. And it went really far. Um, I, you know, I have got to fill in a couple bits there. But the great thing about that it is now I can fill it in, go over it again, cause it's all flat. It won't get caught up on anything. Um, and then, so I'm thinking maybe go up to here, let it cure a little bit. Like this is already, this has been what, 10 minutes and it is hard already. Uh, like I said, this stuff does go off quick. Um, so I just thought I'd show you what one batch does really fast. So you know it's quite thin, it's not gonna be too thick and brittle. Um, I think the thickest would be the bottom bit here. You can see it's only a couple mil. I uh, don't know what the camera shows it like. Um, so carry on, get all this on today, hopefully. Because uh, like I said, I've got the sides to do, I've got underneath to do, which if I can show you, you can see that is flat up to there. Then it starts going in a little bit. So it started building up again. But what I want to do is get at least a couple mil on this anyway, wrap it round, smoothen it out um, to blend in with the original. I don't know if you can see it just there. Um, so it's, yeah, it's coming along really good. Like you see this, the, I could put a little bit there and scrape it because this is flat. Um, it's indented. So a little bit more there uh, and just keep on going. Okay. Okay, that's another 400 grams. I know I went away with what I said originally, I was going to stop there, but what I did off camera quickly is got my, let's call it a big trail, whatever. Um, and tried, obviously with it, nothing on there, tried that way, went up to there, perfect. Then what I did is I flipped it round and it was actually perfect all the way up. And you can see maybe, actually that's just where it flicked up. That is basically blended in now. You can see it did not need a lot at all. Um, same with this side, this side does need more at the top um, you can see it's faded in there but it needs a little bit more in there probably a mil or so and then what I do what I think I'm going to do is leave this for today um, let it cure 100% go over with a sander um, and start fresh uh, another batch and scrape it across everything and whatever is indented will obviously be fared out and we'll go from there but that is basically most of the transom completed uh, i reckon like i said one more coat 
still got to do that which if you see down there there's only a little bit wasted on this one but start going off otherwise i think that would have been enough to do this patch here which like i said is only a meal to smoothen it out um so okay i'll see you guys tomorrow okay new day um it's all gone it's all cured now so i think it's a horrible day today um what i'm thinking now is i'm gonna go over and sand about just a light sand over it take off um any rough edges like where i've uh fed this in just go across that start blending that in a bit better um and over here needs a lot more as you can see um definitely a few mil there you can see how thick it is and that's already a layer underneath uh, so sand any rough edges down and clean it up and then it should be ready for another layer uh, i don't know where the ruler's gone but oh there it is there one moment because as you can see from what I've done now, there is maybe less, maybe a mil, if that, and that is perfect. But like I said, I'll sand that down um, and I can do another layer, go over the whole layer, and that should make all of this flat um, and start fairing it around the corner around here a bit too close yeah fair it around there and up, obviously upwards same on this side and then i still need to do underneath i haven't done anything under there yet because i thought get this big section done first and then i can work underneath so yeah i'm going to start sanding that should take a little while and i'll be back Yeah, and that's all sanded. Uh, got you on a tripod again. Sorry, I keep showing you. I just want to show you how close it is, really. Uh, you should be able to see that, hopefully, up by you. you can see just a little bit in there, a lot less than pretty much just little bits everywhere. So, I reckon one more. Um, one more batch over it and that should um, be pretty much level uh, this side over here let's set you up just there this one's actually perfect let me see if I can get the camera over that is actually perfect all the way up so I think I'm pretty much done with that um, just quickly go over any little pinholes I see. Um, but no, that is perfect. Happy with that. Um, so I think the next thing for me to do is clean this up, uh, acetone it all up again, and start making another batch up and try and get the next layer on. Um, what I try doing mostly with the sanding is get most of, obviously take the rough end off and also any deep divots, try and fair it out a little bit better. So when the new stuff goes in, I, I haven't got to focus on just one deep divot. It's actually smoothed out. Um, here, like I said before, gonna need more, but I have fared it out a little bit better. So when we put some new stuff on, it, uh, hold on and I know it'll go in there um, so yeah let's clean it up and 
Hopefully this rain has stopped so I can open the doors a little bit more because this stuff that I'm using the fairing compound is strong. Um, but yeah, so carry on. Okay, uh, I've done 200 grams this time because I knew it weren't going to be too much I need to put on there. That is the second layer on. You can just see lighter patches, so it weren't a lot that needed to go on. Um, I used the ruler on this one because it does do a better finish. Um, but if you can see just there, something got caught on the ruler i'd try getting it out but like i said this stuff goes off and then i didn't want to lose a whole lot but the good thing is it's indented um so i just need to go over the top of it which i thought originally i'd have to do three coats so this would be really uh, this second coat is to finish the level uh the next one will be just a quick skim across the top fill in any imperfections um but it looks good um i had a little bit left over i just quickly put a bit in there looks rough i know uh same happened again on this one just a little bit in there um so i'll probably have to go over that again um the, the problem is with this stuff you can't stop and try and work on let's say that little bit there otherwise i'd lose half the batch just because i've wasted that much time trying to sort it out clean it and then getting more on there that i just thought get the cover it first uh it's a lot smoother uh might do a little sand but then actually that probably be the end and i'm not too sure yet i want to check once this cures what the, the ruler shows uh, this be easy this is just a little bit um as you can see this is all now blended in so that was my main focus sand it down it might just mean i just need to put a little blob in that bit uh, see how it goes um so i think my next thing is like i said that side's pretty much done i will go over it when i do the final one of this i'll double check that just in case that needs a final coat uh but this needs a bit more build up, let's say. Um, so like I said, I need to get more in there and then I can do a final coat and go around over the whole lot and uh, fair this in. Also, like I said, I need to go underneath. Um, so next job is filling that in. Um, this one weren't too bad. This one blended in really easy um i don't know if because i had the outboard bracket that has pulled the fiberglass in a little bit um so there is a little bit more of a curve which uh if i start fairing from the bottom work my way up you could have a, a big chunk here and then it won't blend in there so i think i'm going to do this one by eye uh, you know blend it in from here go down just fill in all this so i won't use the big ruler i think i've got a medium sized trowel that would be or even that one would probably be good enough uh, i'll see how it goes when i'm on it i might use that but anyway enough talking let's get on with it
Okay, I'll make this a short one. This is probably it for today. I'll come back tomorrow. That'll be the last day. Uh, so this video is getting on quite a bit. Um, managed to fare all that in nicely. Obviously, I need to go over to the sander and have its final coat. Start curving it around that one. Start curving it around that one. And you can see that I've now started to lay up the bottom. It actually went on a lot easier than what I thought. The only difficult parts are probably going to be just this bit here. Uh, it should be nice and easy to wrap it around and get some sort of roundness to it. It went really good on both sides, as you see. Uh, so that'll be sanded down. Also, with that last batch, I managed to fill in that, so I haven't got to worry about uh, sanding it down, putting some more in. I've just piled it on there, sand that down, and also... You ain't gonna be saying, see it's too dark, but the two little pinholes there have been done. So really, yeah, I'll come back tomorrow, give this all a good sand underneath. Um, it will definitely be the last layer for this back section. Um, probably need to do a little bit more underneath and then wrap it around, but that'll give me a nice flat edge to go to uh, and work it around. Should be nice and easy. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, new day. Um, only gonna be down here for a couple hours today, so hopefully I can get all the sanding done. I'm just gonna focus on the sanding today. So then when I'm back next week, because this will be the last day for this week, um, it will just be one layer. That should be pretty much done. Um, took a little bit longer. Just for the days coming down here, to be honest with you. Otherwise, if I had one more day, I could get this done. Uh, I'm just so busy now uh, with other things. But hopefully next week, um, this will all be done. Uh, well, it'll 100% be done. And uh, we can get the boat out, clean it all. Hopefully it's better weather next week. Uh, it's a bit drier today. Not too bad. Um, like I said yesterday, I've managed to cover that and the two holes down there. Um, but I'm gonna crack on with the sanding and see how far we get. Okay. Okay, as you can see, that was a long time lapse. So I just tried carrying on as much as I can. Um, this is now perfect. I managed to get the scrape out. Uh, that turned this side turned out better than what I thought. I've managed to fare it all in perfect. Um, you can see it's looking really good. Um, so that back end is now ready for a final uh, layer going over. 
you know, just to cover little pinholes or whatever you call it. Um, but it's flat. Um, it looks really good. The sides are done. This side is now all blended in. Uh, once again, just need to do the pinholes. Uh, so if any of you do consider getting this fairing compound, um, it will leave um, the holes. I've just got to quickly go down there. I haven't been down there yet, just to fill in the two little ones. I mean, that's nothing really, so that should be nice and easy. It was literally to fill in those pinholes like that. Um, and then I've started underneath, uh, which has actually turned out easier than what I thought. If I can show you, just quickly put you on the stand. So basically what I'm doing is that's the gel coat just there and it's going straight into the fairing compound. It actually blended in really well. I think I put more on there than I needed, but that also saves me putting a whole new layer on. I uh, really, I only need to go over this bit to fill in uh, little gaps that I've missed, uh, pinholes, and then this main strip, but that's nothing as well. I'll fill that in with quite a bit and then I can just sand it the once and just carry on going. Um, so I'll stop talking now and quickly jump underneath and get as much done as I can. I think I've got about half an hour left to go. It does take some time once it's built, because uh, it's built up to uh, start fairing it back in. But once I got it, should be looking really good. And then really all I've got left to do uh, for this back end next week is final layer over all of it and just get some to curve around. But yeah, um, I'll carry on. Okay, and that's the underneath all sanded, blended in. Uh, like I said, both sides do need a little top hop. Just started rounding that off. And you can see it just needs a little bit extra in there. A little chunk uh, to level it out. But everything else is starting to come together. You see where I've just not gone far enough there, so that'll be the little top hop I'm talking about. All that's perfect. So that's it for this week. So next week, we will definitely have this back end done, fared off. Uh, it's looking really good at the moment. I could probably just paint it, but you know, trying to get it per perfect as best as I can. If it means just another week at it to finish things off, clean it up, I'd rather do that than rush it. Um, I know it's a slow, oh, camera's a bit dirty, sorry. There you go, that's better. It's a slow process, this boat work, but um, slowly getting there. And like I said, probably get all this done by next week. Um, hopefully we can have better weather, as you can see. There's really dark clouds coming over now, so I'm sure we'll get a downpour. Um, but if next week's better. And then really, it's just give it a wash, bring it back in, get it on the stands. I know it's a bit backwards because basically I'm going to sand all that down, take it out, clean it all, bring it back in, get it on the stands, then have to go underneath and sand that, and uh, which is going to cause a bit more dust. But so much hassle getting this boat on and off the trailer, I don't really want to get it back onto the trailer, then drag it out. So hopefully. I can just wipe it all down with acetone, clean it all up properly, and it should be good enough to go. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.